We were just saying how young you all looked in those clips. That's the first 20 series. years, though. 97 oh, it was. God. Yeah. 20 years. 20 years. That was wow. the pilot, yeah, yeah. And Jimmy Nesbitt even had hair then. He did have a bit, didn't he? <laughs> yes, before the magic happened. What is it? <laughs> but I bet you, you, none of you had any idea of what, how successful that was going to be. No, well, not after the, the pilot. pilot yeah. but no, I didn't really. I thought, it's all right. Yeah. It's all well, right. last time you were here, it was just before the last series. It was. We, had, we didn't know mass... whether we were... Oh, yeah. And there's just been this massive hit. Could have been a car crash, but it was brilliant. Yeah. It was amazing. Oh, it was so... Because I was such a fan of the first series, so I was nervous about the... I was terrified. Because yeah. I thought, oh, don't let me down now, because I yeah. loved it. And it was just as good. It was amazing. Brilliant. We did go and guns blazing with the storylines, though. It was so great, it was like, though. oh, whoa, and the pace. Yeah. I think the pacing of it was brilliant. And you got a chance to do something completely different. Yes. Out of the comfort zone. I like it, though. I like to play the straight stuff, the yes, hardest I, I stuff. Yes, I was going to actually relate that, uh, now they've got the depression uh, mm. character, to actually this new documentary that you've made with all great comics like Billy Cobb, mm. AJ Senfal, everybody. And I know it's been years of project for you, but... It started in 2013. We discussed mm. this. I, the 2012, 2013 were really hungry years for me, and I thought I had to motivate myself. My friend had made a documentary about rap, which was about the rap as an art yes. form with Ice yeah. T. Yeah. And Paul, you know, uh, and Lloyd had made this film, and I thought, this is amazing. And I'd always kind of aired the idea we do a definitive film about stand up, no performance, exactly what it's like to be a stand up, warts and all, but no footage of doing stand up. We got. Jerry Seinfeld. Mm -hmm. we, we struggled because I got some of the, uh, I could assemble some of the British acts. We managed to get Jerry Seinfeld and uh, one of our fixers sorted that. And then the floodgates opened because people go, who's doing it? Who's in it? Yeah. And the old yeah. Jerry Seinfeld went, all right, I'll do it. Is this then John just talking about what it's like to do stand up? Because you've done it yourself. I you? have done it myself and I still do it myself. I do two ends of the spectrum. I do mercenary corporate and free charity. Yeah. But I don't do the dog and duck for 50 quid. <laughs> <laughs> Just too, but I have too to terrible. say, John, um, for me, of all the uh, you know aspects of entertainment, I think stand-up comedy is the hardest. I agree. It's Definitely. like a challenge every night, isn't it? It is, but it's not... On your own, though. Yeah, but it's not yeah. down to you. There's so many out mitigating yeah, factors. Absolutely. So many things like the, the sound, the lighting, the shape of the room. There's sometimes... A, a How much people have drunk? Exactly. Yeah. Totally. The audience. Yeah, yeah. What's, yeah it's, it depends on the venue. Mm. I mean, you could be on fire, but you still... One of the guys, Russell Peters, in the film says, you still, no matter what stage you're at, what level you're at, how on fire you are, you're always entitled to Bob. Do you know yeah. what I'm fascinated about, though, in, in, with comedy, which you know all about? Um, I remember talking to um, Lenny Henry and Don Fench when they were married, and he said, people think that we are funny over, like, the cereal in the morning. We're cracking jokes. <laughs> it's that double-sided thing. You know, the, the fact that a lot of comics, um, you know, like... Um, uh, Pete, what, they got very famous? Uh, Peter... Peter Sellers. Sellers. Mm -hmm. It's such a, a depressive side. Mm -hmm. so do you deal with that in the documentary? We c the, yeah, there's one, one of the quotes about the film is, uh, all comedians are damaged people. <laughs> it's not strictly true. Well, listen, but but why do they we've got a clip. Why is it so difficult? Why do they go on? What is it? For some people, it's therapy. It's sharing. So they talk right. about their lives. They it's talk like about how badly angry. their lives... I mean, I just kind of do jokes and silly voices, but, I mean... That's easy. How bad has it ever got for you? Like, can you remember, like, your I've died in front of 45,000 people at the oh, closing oh, ceremony no. of Euro 96. No. Yeah, yeah, I did a I was in character, I did a joke, and uh, it, uh, it's the politically correct Bernard Manning character I do, and my opening gambit with that is there's a black fella, a Pakistani, and a Jew in a nightclub having a drink. What a fine example of an integrated community, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so it's the PC version yeah. of Bernard Manning. Yeah. I got the, the pun I got the setup out, and then I didn't know that Madness had rushed the stage behind me. They were the act on stage management. They'd just run on. So I, the payoff yeah. came out, and they were, the crowd, 45,000 people went, ah! And I thought, this is what it's like to be Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jackson. Then I realised Madness had come on. And I went, oh, no. No, I died. You had to crawl off. Oh, it was awful. <laughs> well, we had no idea you when... You have to be damaged to be a stand-up comedian. I think... Com well, yes, but st stand-up damages you. Oh. Do you in know what, what I mean? Way, in what way? Yeah. I think it's it's that unfairness of the fact that you can be. Do you know what the audience are on your side? They want you to do well, but sometimes it, there's so many things that are out of your hands that can spoil the night. But there's some audiences that go to challenge you, make me laugh. Yeah, exactly. There's professional hecklers. Yeah. There used to be a mime artist. I don't, know. I don't some... know why any of you do it. I think it's brilliant that you do.